Hey you guys, it's Molly. I want to do a little um, color experiment. So I was in Christina Welch's um, Facebook group and she posted something of a video of Echo Gillette's and I thought it was um, really interesting. It's actually about color theory and I'll try to link it below in the video, but she talks about how the primary colors are not uh, red, yellow, and blue, that actually they're cyan, magenta, and yellow. And it's based on subtractive versus additive color theory. It's a, I'm not uh, a major in art or color theory, but I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. I've never used those colors. I think I wanna try it in a pour. So I'm gonna be doing a Dutch pour, two of them actually. One with what she calls the secondary colors, which are her red, uh, blue and green and then um, or the other set of colors and then with the yellow and magenta and blue and cyan So I'm super excited. All right um, I'm gonna be using Arteza colors tonight and I'll walk you through everything. So I'm gonna get you down on the canvas Hey, hey you guys, it's Molly um, So as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna try out two different color palettes working with um, what this YouTuber um, Echo had said were the true primary colors versus um, the red, blue, and green that she said would be the quote unquote secondary colors. So I'm not, again, a teacher of art, um, you know, traditional art. I didn't go to school for it. So I'm really just doing this to see how the colors are gonna react because I don't normally do red, green, and blue together. Um, and I don't normally work with, you know, a magenta sky blue and yellow. So I'm super excited to see how this is gonna come out. I think I'll do the puddles on each of them and then blow them. So I'm gonna start with this one. And start with the blue. I don't wanna put too much color on there. So this blue and magenta should make some type of purple when they combine. The magenta and yellow could be either a red or an orange, so we'll see. And I am using the Arteza colors again, so I'm using mid yellow, magenta light, and sky blue. And it's already starting to make a really pretty orange on there. So this next one should be a green. I don't know if I really want any green in this one. I might come back with some magenta. So it matters the way that you layer the colors as well. Matters the consistency, matters how you lay them, how you layer them. Okay, maybe I'll just do one so I can get one little bit of green in there. I'll do one yellow right there. And you can, I can see all the rings forming right now. I'm not getting a red though. I think that's probably all the color, maybe one little bit of blue. That's all the color I want on there, I think. So on this one, and I kept this really simple. So I just went with Floetrol and water on these. So I used the Winsor Newton White with Floetrol and water, and the colors I've just used a tiny bit of Floetrol and mostly water. So I think I'll start the same way with blue phthalo blue in the center. And again, I'm using Arteza colors on this one. All my links are down below if you guys wanna try out Arteza colors. Um, so I'm using phthalo blue, mid green, brilliant red. So I'll do like I did on this one, the red next, kinda of like the pink. Ugh, I'm scared of this green. I don't work a lot with green, you guys. It really does, it scares me. It shouldn't, I should, whoops. I should just figure out what works well with green and just go with it. So you guys can let me know, do you guys work a lot with green and do you like it? Um, I like more of like the deeper, darker green, phthalo green, emerald green, even olive green, but bright, and I like lime, but this mid green kind of scares me a little bit. All right, so I'll end the same way with blue on top. Now I'll do my white around. each of them. This one has a lot, the colors have definitely faded out more. It's very interesting. All right, so I'm gonna blow it over and then blow these out.
The cells in them are really, really pretty. So it's really just about paint consistency for cells, you guys. Let me see if I can zoom you in a little bit on either one of those. So that's what the cells look like. A lot of green, looks like even a little bit of mud there. Those are just really bright, beautiful colored cells. So, all right, got you back in angle. Okay, now I'm gonna blow these out. aren't moving like right here you can pour a little bit more white not on them but just around them and then when you blow that white off the color should move with it see like that I'll blow the rest with my mouth. Um, to be honest, I'm not super loving either color combination together. I probably should have done one with these two and the yellow, but I did that with my triptych already. love the little cells that formed out here. All right, let me make sure I got enough white on here to blow these out just a little bit. See, the color catches that white and kind of just helps it move along well. And you guys can always check out, some people have been asking about where they can uh, see my dried result. And you can always check it out on uh, Instagram or Facebook. I try to post them there. So it could have been the way that I layered them um, for the colors that I got, but I'm just not super loving either one of these. I mean, composition is one thing. I, I don't super love the composition either, but pour a little bit of white right here. Yeah, I like that one a little bit better, but. Okay, I'll leave that is and see how it goes. And this one up here, I don't like how hard the edges are right there. And the yellow, the yellow is kind of throwing me off on this as well. They're not terrible. It's not that I like am saying ew. 
So I might do another one with the red, yellow, and blue just to see. How I like that one. So I didn't get any of those kind of bright reds and I didn't get any of those um, really beautiful purples either. So I'll take you down and I'll show you both of them, but eh, I'm kind of, Kind of iffy on this one for these color combos together. But you guys can let me know what you think. So let me take them off and I'll show you. Give me one second, let me get around to the other side of the table. All right, so here is, so here's how the colors mix together on this one. There's a lot of color underneath in here, I think, as well, but I might try to blow that out and see. I got a cool, like, teal color here with that yellow, but then there's a lot of green. The orange that I was seeing before kind of went away, but again, meh. And then here's this one. You can see the little cells there. I don't like the way the white is reacting here as well. I, I just used Floetrol and I don't normally just use Floetrol. I either mix GAC 800 or um, my gloss medium a little bit in there. So I think that's probably why. It's pretty. Again, the green, the green's kind of throwing me off. So that's the two of them, and you guys can let me know if you like either combination or don't like either of them. Um, but I just really was inspired by that, so I wanted to kind of try it out. And everything that she said makes sense. These are the colors that the printer uses, um, along with black, to your uh, yellow, magenta, cyan, and black. Those are your colors that make up every color you could imagine printing. So. Very interesting. Made me think. Hopefully it makes you guys think too. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Happy painting. Bye.